Dave, you often say there are companies that get it and companies that don't. What exactly do you mean by this? Uh, it really depends on whether you're a small company or a big company. There's a lot of small companies that have really big ideas, but they can't get big. Um, ultimately, the companies that get big, that are successful, get it. And by that, I mean they get uh, the importance of brand, they get the importance of marketing their company as opposed to just selling a product. Uh, when companies get it and they do things the right way and they brand themselves in the right way, they're the ones that get the best results. How can using an advertising agency actually help a company save money? A lot of companies will outsource core functions of the business in order to save money. A lot of companies don't have their own lawyers, for example, they'll hire a law firm. Uh, they don't do their own payroll, so they'll hire an accounting firm to do that. Somehow or another, a lot of companies don't hire a marketing firm because they think that's going to cost them a lot of money. In the end, it ends up saving them money. One, the more people that you're hiring externally when you're outsourcing it, you're expensing that on your tax returns. Okay, So you're not paying people internally to do that work. The other thing is a uh, professional advertising agency or marketing firm knows where to best invest your dollars. It is an investment after all. And so if they know where best to invest it, it's probably going to get you better results and end up saving you money in the long run. Would you consider advertising an expense or an investment? A lot of small and mid-sized companies look at it as a, 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 an expense. Oh, good gravy, I've got to go pay the advertising people. i got to go pay for the print ads and the TV ads and the this and that. So on the expense side, when times are tough, they tend to cut expenses and they tend to cut marketing, which is the worst thing they could possibly do. We've seen that happen in the last few years with the recession. Smart companies, companies who get it, think of it as an investment. They think of it as an investment in growth, an investment in their future, an investment in their brand. The great thing about it is it's a little bit of both because when you hire a firm, you can expense it. A lot of times when, when you're filing and depending on the structure you're filing, if you're a corporation, an LLC, an S Corp, you can deduct the expenses of hiring a marketing firm on your taxes. You can expense the advertising costs that they place for you. So in a nutshell, it's an investment in your future, but it's something that you can also expense off your taxes. It's like a win-win. Summarize a marketer's expertise and how they can help other professionals promote theirs. People in the advertising and marketing and PR business are experts. They went to college, you know, they, 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 uh, they have experience in how to market, how to brand companies and their businesses. I have a friend of mine who's a dentist. I used to tease him all the time. You're a really good dentist, okay? I am a really good marketer. If we traded jobs one day, I would probably make a bloody mess of it if I tried to do some dentistry work. The same thing that you're doing with your marketing. Now he laughed because he knew it was true. If you're an expert in your field at a product or a service, you've developed years and years and years of expertise in that, you should stick to that business and that should be your core function. Adding on another hat, like being a marketer or being your own PR agent, is probably not something that you should do. What are the advantages of being an external marketing firm versus an internal marketing firm? The short answer there is the third party perspective. If I am XYZ company and I'm selling widgets and I hire a marketing director to market my widgets, I'm going to tell him or her what I want them to do in order to market those widgets. That person is employed by the widget company and their number, one status, their number one goal in their job is to keep their job as the marketing director at the widget factory. Okay? Not really necessarily to market the widget factory in the best way possible. So when you're looking at hiring a firm outside the company, not only do you get the expertise, you get all the other benefits, but you get this really valuable third party perspective. We work with clients, we don't work for them, so we can give them the best possible advice uh, because we're not exactly afraid of getting our paycheck on Friday. Explain why using an advertising agency or marketing firm will save a company time and money in the long run. Saving time uh, is one of the things, and, and as all we, all, we all know in business, time is money. 
if you've got employees running around and doing market research and you've got them trying to design ads and you've tried got them trying to place media and negotiate with all these various vendors for your events and for your online and for your website and for your print ads and your TV ads and your radio ads and I could go on and on and on. That's a lot of time. Okay. So do you want your core employees doing that or do you want to hire a firm who's an expert in that can probably get it done in a lot less time with a lot better result. So in the end, not only are you saving time, you're saving money. Why is it important for a company to differentiate their advertising from their competitors? Distinction is the heart of brand. You've got to do something to make you different and stand out in the crowd. Every day in America we get bombarded with 40,000 pieces of data from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. People say, what do you guys do? We make that piece of data that someone can remember. The average human being can only process 35 or 40 pieces of that data. So you've got to make sure that you're different. You stand out in the crowd because your competitors probably are operating in this big sea of sameness. They all sell widgets, okay? Who sells the best one? The best looking, the best longest lasting, the best price. You've got to make your product, your service, stand out in the crowd because ultimately, if you don't do it, your competitors will. How is research vital to a marketing campaign? Market research is incredibly important because we live in the information age and information is the key to the kingdom. Okay, if you, at the heart of it, marketing is about getting the right message in front of the right people at the right time. Okay, so if you don't research the message, if you don't research the people and you don't research the scenario, uh, it's all gonna fall flat. Uh, good advertising and marketing is an investment. Really bad marketing, really bad advertising delivered to the wrong people at the wrong time is a total waste of money. The first thing is the research. Know what your customers want, know what products they want, know what services they want, and then find out a way to deliver the messages to them so they'll buy those products and services. In what ways can an advertising agency maintain a strong business relationship with its clients? In this day and age, it is really key to have great relationships with partner companies, with vendors. The difference is, with a marketing firm, you really need to treat them like a partner rather than a vendor. Anybody can go provide you with a service. Okay? Some of your most trusted advisors might be your lawyer your CPA, you need to add your marketing guy to that mix because they're really thinking about the future. Okay, The lawyer's thinking about when you get in trouble. The CPA is thinking about when you get in trouble with the IRS. And the marketing firm is going to try to keep you out of trouble in the future to make sure you're saying the right things and doing the right things and so you're growing. The value of relationships is really, really important. You've got to have someone that you can trust. Explain the perks of working with a marketing firm that always stays one step ahead. In this day and age, information is flying at us so fast and technologies are changing and marketing methods are changing. You've got to have a partner that can keep up with the latest and greatest in technology and innovation. If you're still advertising in the phone book, if you're still doing things the way you did them 20 years ago, you need to inject some innovation and some knowledge into that process. A marketing firm can do that for you because that's their job. Their job is to keep up with the latest and greatest. The latest and greatest might always be the best for you. They'll give you some advice on what works and what doesn't. But at least they've been there, they've done that, they've tried that, they use what works.